If you've decorated every part of your home but left your bathroom bare, I'm right there with you. I totally understand because the bathroom is such a difficult place to decorate because we want it to be functional and stylish and normally the function wins. But I'm going to share some expert tips and tricks to having a functional stylish bathroom in today's video and I'm gonna save the very best ones for last so be sure to keep on watching. Before we do that though, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and welcome to the channel. Now I recently did a bathroom renovation and while like the beautiful tile and the new fixtures help, the decor is really what elevates the space. So don't feel like just because you don't have a massive budget to do a renovation that this can't be impactful. And I'm gonna show you. Here's what my bathroom looks like before it is pretty bare. So we're going to get organized and we're gonna get decorated today and we're gonna have a blast. So let's get into it. So the first thing I see people get wrong all the times in bathroom has to do with artwork. A lot of people say you can't put artwork in the bathroom at all because it's going to get ruined by the steam. And that is a super fair concern. And in part, it's true. You don't wanna put a Picasso in the bathroom. That is just plain stupid, but I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm ever gonna own one of those. That being said, you don't want to put really, really fragile artwork in the bathroom. So your fine prints or your fine pieces of artwork or you know the painting that your grandma did, we are not going to put that in our bathrooms. Instead, this is when we're actually going to invest in those cheaper canvas prints that we see at like a home goods or an at home, those canvases that are embellished and they kind of feel like plastic. This is a lot more durable when it comes to standing up to the elements or steam rather. And if it gets ruined, it's really easy to replace because these things are $30, $40 is a lot more affordable. If you don't like any of those big canvas pieces because they're not embellished enough or they just look plain fake to you, something else that you can do is just get Etsy prints. I love to get prints off of Etsy. It's a great way to support smaller artists and I just like to put them in really cheap frames. I'll go to Ikea or I'll pick some up from Amazon um, and I'll just hang them on the wall. But something I think people forget about a lot of the time is sculpture. Sculpture is a great way to get something three-dimensional up on the wall. It really is drawing and it's a great way to elevate your bathroom. I found these ones, I put them up and it's a great way to add a little bit of art near my toilet, but not too much because it's a toilet, right? When you have too many big pieces and stuff like that, it can start to feel overwhelming. No one wants to feel claustrophobic when they're sitting on the toilet. So I think that sculpture is just a perfect touch. Tip number two is to think about the olfactory. Scent is everything. I did a poll over on Instagram. If you're not following me yet, go follow me. It's at kiva.brent and people said that the first thing they notice when they walk into someone's house is how it smells. So smell is so powerful. You need to get your bathroom smelling super good. So I'm sorry, no poopery. To me, it just smells like it's covering up like fecal matter. You know what? That's just what it smells like to me. No more Febreze. I want you to actually put candles or incense in your bathroom. You can even use diffusers. I love agape candles. They're a small business. I think that they do a really great job. I have shared other candles before, but this one is like the creme de la creme. This is a nori candle. What I love about this, it's not only a candle, but it's a skin treatment. So this is perfect for the bathroom. When we're choosing bathroom items, we want them to be as multifunctional as possible. So this is a great example because it makes the bathroom smell amazing, but it's also great for moisturizing your skin. And I will say I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin and this has not broken me out at all. And it lasts a lot. Like I've covered my entire body in the skin treatment many, many, many times and I have been perfectly fine and I still have half a candle left. So while it is around $48, it's pretty expensive for a candle. It really takes you a long way and it covers every scent that you could ever, you know, emit in a bathroom. My next bathroom styling tip actually has to do with your skincare items, your toiletries. Now, this is probably um, an unpopular opinion, but I don't think you should get those plastic like home edit containers. I think those are wonderful for other parts of the home. I think they're wonderful for drawers and stuff, but for the toiletries that sit out on the countertop, I think that they just look like more clutter. I don't think that they really like elevate your styling in any way. So if I'm gonna leave anything out on display, I want it to look pretty. So I want you to actually start using trays to anchor your toiletries, your decor, things like that. So that's what I do. I have a marble tray. I put all of my toiletries on there. Plus it makes it super easy if you wanna do like your skincare in a different bathroom. You wanna do it sitting in bed. You wanna do it while sitting in front of the TV. You can just pick everything up on a tray and kind of transport it instead of saying, oh, I need this and I need this and I need this and doing everything one by one. So that's just like a little hack there that I like to do. Um, it's been a game changer for me personally because sometimes I don't feel like doing my skincare. But if I, if I can bring it with me and still watch The Bachelor, I'm good to go. And I know a lot of people are going to um, unsubscribe because I watched The Bachelor, but this is this is my first year watching it again and I, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And I don't just mean only do this for things that can kind of sit on a marble tray. I mean like your face wipes, things like that. So I love to use those Clean Skin Club wipes. You guys know I've been on like a no makeup journey. I've worn makeup maybe three times in the past year. So even when I have like huge pimples, I still film. And I like to put my Clean Skin Club towels in a disposable 
dispenser for Kleenex because I think it looks a lot more chic, it looks a lot more elevated, and you don't just have that ugly cardboard container kind of like sitting up there. It's just little things like this that elevate your space, um, make it look a little bit more luxurious, and make your things a little bit more functional, and make you more inclined to maintain the space. I'm a firm believer that you will not maintain a space if you don't like the way that it looks. So if you craft a beautiful bathroom, a bathroom that you enjoy looking at, and a bathroom that you enjoy spending time in, yes, people can enjoy spending time in the bathroom, you are more likely to clean it and maintain it and stay organized, which I think is always a good thing. So I have like this bubble one. It kind of reminds me of Jonathan Adler and I just put my towels in there. It can fit an entire box of these towels and I'm good to go for a long period of time. I also wanted to get creative with the toothbrush container because of course you can buy those matching sets, but I want to have fun. I love sculpture, like I said. I wanted something that was easy to clean. So I use this hand sculpture. Again, it's Jonathan Adler. That's one of my favorite designers. So that's what I got there. But get creative. Any container that you can put stuff in, you can use that in the bathroom. Just don't put like the toothbrush side down. Just like in the kitchen, if you want to use a vase for your decorative accents in your kitchen, you're not going to put like the cooking utensil side down if it's not a food safe container. So just think about things like that. And of course, I also switched my soap container, but that's something everyone knows and does already. But choose something that's like in a color scheme. So choose a color scheme, stick to it, and it will really elevate your design. Now, this is a big one, and I think this is what ruins most bathrooms and make them look very like bathroomy. And it is the stand where we put all of our toiletries. We're not in college anymore. I remember in college, you used to have like this pink container and I used to walk down the hall and take a shower and I feel like they make all of them, even the really expensive, like simple human ones, they all look like that. On the stands, they rust, they get grimy, they don't look good and they take up a lot of floor space in the shower and I want as much space as I can possibly get when I'm taking a shower. So I actually recommend using a suction cup or like adhesive shells in your bathroom if you don't have like a niche in there because niches aren't very common when it comes to a bathroom. So get these, they are suctioned so they will come off, they'll go back on, they're renter friendly, you can hang your razors on there, you can put your shampoo and your toiletries on there. It just helps you reclaim the space and creates a much cleaner look. And it just like, there's so much less buildup of grime and it makes your bathroom way less difficult to clean. Now you will notice that I did use containers here that are a little bit more stylish. So that is another tip, use stylish containers, but only for your bigger toiletries. Now, if you get a new face wash every three weeks, please don't put that into a new container. That's also one of those things, like the transferring process can like cause some spread of bacteria and that's like an area you don't really want to mess around. So instead you want to use containers for like your big toiletries, the ones that don't matter. So like your Dove, your soap, your shampoo, your conditioner. Those are the things you want to put in those like really cute chic containers like these white ones that I have here. But otherwise I probably leave everything else alone. It's okay to have things that aren't cute in your bathroom, right? because it needs to be a functional space. So always, always keep that in mind. Now, this is something that I've not really seen anyone do but me, but I'm married to it. And this is like a hill I will die on. You should add some sort of table in your bathroom if you can accommodate it. Because, right, we all sit in the bathroom sometimes for a little bit longer than we should, doing whatever. And you want somewhere to put your phone or put whatever. You can have a little drink table. It doesn't have to have, be a big, massive table. Like I know that we have a larger bathroom than normal. This is our primary bathroom. And it, it's a larger bathroom, but you can get a drink table. So get a drink table, they're really affordable. You can get them from absolutely any store and you can use that in your bathroom. This presents you with another surface to add decor. So something that won't fit on your countertop or just like doesn't belong on the countertop and it just gives you a surface to work with. So you can watch TV, you can put feminine products on it. That's what I do. I have like a little box that I leave here and it has tampons in there so I don't have to stare at them, right? Like I know I use Super Plus tampons but not everyone needs to know that. So I keep it nice and like hidden and well kept. And again, it just gives me another place to add a few more decorative touches because I want my countertops to be for more practical items. Now, I'm not a real plant person. You guys know this because I just can't keep them alive. Okay, I'm trying. But definitely add um, plants real or faux to your bathrooms because this adds so much liveliness, literally, a lot of the times. It's a great way to introduce like a pop of color, a little bit of green, just something that doesn't feel so like closed and done any because that's how bathrooms often feel, especially with like that really bright light. So it just like warms it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more inviting. I like to use these faux tulips because I think they look so freaking realistic and they're really easy to wipe off because people are always like, I don't decorate my bathroom because of flying particles. One, put down the toilet seat and two, you can just rinse it off just like you rinse your hands, but also like what's going on where everything is flying so much is clothes 
the toilet seat. So I love to use artificial flowers like this. I just, it, I think it adds that necessary pop. Now, if you don't have any countertop space for something like this, get some eucalyptus real tight around your shower head. This is a great way to add that greenery. Plus it will actually help really open up your sinuses when you're showering. You know, eucalyptus is powerful for that. That's what they put in Vicks Vapor Rub. So it'll be, you know, a twofer for you. Now I've talked a lot about countertops and how I like to decorate them, but you have to keep in mind when you have so much stuff on these countertops, they can get messed up. So one of the hacks I like to do is to use like these evaporating coasters underneath the toiletries that aren't on a tray. So I don't keep my soap on a tray because someone else is using it. I don't want anybody touching my tray. You know what I mean? So I like to use these coasters because if any water falls, it is going to instantly be absorbed. It's the diatomaceous earth. I think it looks so much more sleek than having like a normal coaster in the bathroom. And this is great for all of your toiletries, not just beverages, so that you can maintain those countertops if you own the home or if you're in a rental and you're worried about your landlord. Same thing goes, traditional bath mats, they get so grimy and ugly. So I want you to do two things. One, I want you to use a diatomaceous earth bath mat near like your shower area or your bath area. It's going to absorb all of that water. You're not gonna have any wet floors. You're not gonna have any of that stinky, moldy, like wet mat smell. But then near your vanity, if there's enough space, you're gonna use a normal rug, right? Because you're gonna dry off in the shower. You're gonna extra dry off on that diatomaceous earth bath mat. And then over in the vanity, that's where we can infuse our style. So I've had an oriental rug in my bathroom for eons. That's what I like. It really is representative of my style in the rest of my home. That is a great way to infuse some style. So have one that's more practical and then one that's a little bit more stylish so that you can infuse your style in a different way in the bathroom and really take advantage of that floor space because every single part of the bathroom is a canvas, right? So we want to use it appropriately. And last but not least, I have a few more tips I wanna share though I won't necessarily do them in my own bathroom. One option is to switch out your vanity mirrors. Vanity mirrors, a lot of the times, they're not secured super well, so you can really just take them off and put something up that is more representative of you. That's what I did here. I got these ones that look like the Thaddeus mirrors and I love them. They really elongate the space and infuse my style into the room. Same thing goes actually with your towel rack. So you used to have a wavy towel rack in the bathroom and that was a great way to have a, like, a little bit of contemporary flair. Have fun with your hardware. Don't be afraid to switch it up. Do something a little bit avant-garde. Um, and the same thing with your shower heads. If you're renting or even if you're owning and you don't know if the next person will like that stuff, just save it underneath like your countertop. Keep it, you know, labeled and under there and then just replace it when it's time to move. But those are my top tips for decorating your bathroom functionally and stylishly. If you follow any of these, I promise your bathroom is going to look amazing and it's gonna be super functional for you and your partner. What other bathroom styling tips do you know that we should know about? Be sure to drop them down in the comments. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and until next time, have a beautiful day.